The women's tennis team won the Mountain West Championship for the first time since 2017. Irina Maradion was named the Mountain West Freshman of the Year, becoming the first Spartan to do so since 2014. Chad Skorupka, the head coach, also earned Mountain West Coach of the Year. Spartan wide receiver great James Jones joined the SefQ Ring of Honor to become the first wide receiver and San Jose native to receive the honor. He was inducted to the San Jose Hall of Fame later in November. San Jose State was well represented in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics with six former players and one coach representing their countries in the games. Susie Brookshire Gonzalez competed for Mexico's softball team, Michelle Cox for Australia's softball squad, Colton Brown on the U.S. men's judo team, Robin Stevens for U.S. women's track and field 20K walking race, and coach Greg Masiales for his seventh Olympic Games was the U.S. fencing head coach. Two former Spartans brought home hardware. Clara Aspar Laquette won the silver medal for the Spanish women's water polo team, and Emma Ensminger earned the bronze for Team Canada's softball team. Two-time All-American scholar Kaisa Arvifiel shot a 67 in the final round of the Stanford Regional to qualify for the NCAA championship and earned a 36th place finish at the national tournament. Arvifiel went on to become the first San Jose State underclassman to win a professional tournament, capturing the Golf Uppsala Open Championship in Sweden, winning in a playoff. Two Spartans won Mountain West Championships in the outdoor track and field competitions, Roman Johnson Jr. in the men's 100-meter dash and Tyler Cash in the men's high jump. The San Jose State volleyball team won a program-best 13 Mountain West Conference games last year, earning a third-place finish in the regular season standings. The Spartans won a perfect 9-0 against California State teams and earned a final RPI ranking of 84, number two in the conference. Spartan baseball player Ruben Ibarra was selected by the Cincinnati Reds in the fourth round of the Major League Baseball draft last year, becoming the highest San Jose State draft pick since the 2004 draft. The Spartans had a dramatic come-from-behind 4-3 victory over Utah Valley in the WAC men's soccer quarterfinals, led in large part by this fantastic ESPN Top 10 play from Rudy Castro. Rudy Castro was not the only player to make it on an ESPN top play. Here's Trey Smith in the San Jose State men's basketball opener with the buzzer beater to give first season head coach Tim Miles his 400th career victory. The men's water polo team earned its highest ranking ever at number seven since the program was reinstated in 2015 and finished the year at number nine in the final poll overall. Spartan goalie Yahav Fire earned All-American honors. The San Jose State women's golf team earned their highest ever finish at the end of the fall, checking in at number 13 in the golf stat rankings. Jeff Konya was named the 15th director of athletics at San Jose State University. In doing so, he created the new vision statement for the department, the Charge of the Spartans. The gymnastics team defeated Stanford 194.375 to 192.55 in their only home meet of the year. Omari Moore's sensational game-sealing dunk in the win over Northern Colorado was another play featured on ESPN Top 10, this one number three on the night. Nick Watts fired a 10 under par 206 to capture the Husky Individual Invitational on the Cascade course, making an eagle on the par 5 18th hole with a chip-in from 15 yards away. He became the first freshman to finish in first place in a college tournament since 1984. 